Welcome to our channel Around the World with Doom Mumtaz. Today we are going to visit Katmai National Park and Preserve in Peninsula Alaska United States of America. If you like our informative video, please click the like button and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so you will receive timely notification whenever we uploaded new videos. Let's get started. Katmai National Park and Preserve is an American national park and preserve in southwest Alaska, notable for the Valley of 10,000 Smokes and for its brown bears. The park and preserve encompass 4,093,077 acres which is between the sizes of Connecticut and New Jersey. Most of the national park is a designated wilderness area. The park is named after Mount Katmai, its centerpiece stratovolcano. The park is located on the Alaska Peninsula, across from Kodiak Island, with headquarters in nearby King Salmon, about 290 miles southwest of Anchorage. The area was first designated a national monument in 1918 to protect the area around the major 1912 volcanic eruption of Novarupta, which formed the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, a 40 square mile, 100 to 700 foot deep pyroclastic flow. The park includes as many as 18 individual volcanoes, seven of which have been active since 1900. Initially designated because of its volcanic history, the monument was left undeveloped and largely unvisited until the 1950s. The monument and surrounding lands became appreciated for their wide variety of wildlife, including an abundance of sockeye salmon and the brown bears that feed upon them. After a series of boundary expansions, the present National Park and Preserve were established in 1980 under the Alaska National Interest Lands Conservation Act. Katmai occupies the Pacific Ocean side of the Alaska Peninsula, opposite Kodiak Island on the Shalikov Strait. The park's chief features are its coast, the Aleutian Range with a chain of 15 volcanic mountains across the coastal southeastern part of the park, and a series of large lakes in the flatter western part of the park. The closest significant town to the park is King Salmon, where the park's headquarters is located, about 5 miles down the Naknik River from the park entrance. The Alaska Peninsula Highway connects Naknik Lake near the entrance to King Salmon, continuing to the mouth of the river at Naknik. The road is not connected to the Alaska road system. Access to the park's interior is by boat on Naknik Lake. Another road runs from Brooks Camp to Three Forks, which overlooks the Valley of 10,000 Smokes. The 497-mile-long coastline is deeply indented, running from the entrance to the Cook Inlet at Kamishok Bay south to Cape Kubugakli. The mountains run from southwest to northeast, about 15 miles inland. The park includes McNeil River State Game Sanctuary and Refuge on Kamishok Bay. The Alagnik River, designated a wild river, originates within the preserve at Kukaklak Lake. The Naknik River, which empties into Bristol Bay, originates within the park. The park adjoins Bikorov National Wildlife Refuge to the south. Of the park and preserves acres, 3,922,529 acres are in the national park where all sport and subsistence hunting is prohibited. 418,548 acres are preserve lands, where both sport and subsistence hunting are permitted. The most commonly hunted species in the preserve includes the brown bear, which has led to some problems about bear hunting due to small preserve population sizes and stalking bears to close limits. The foundation rocks on the Alaska Peninsula are divided by the Bruin Bay Fault into fossiliferous sedimentary rocks of Jurassic and Cretaceous age to the east and metamorphic and igneous rocks to the west. The Granite Illusion Range Batholith has intruded through these rocks. The majority of the higher mountains in the park are of volcanic origin. The park has been extensively altered by glaciation, both in the highlands where the mountains have been sculpted by glaciers, and in the lowlands where lakes have been excavated. Outwash plains and terminal moraines are also featured in the park. Soil types vary from rock or volcanic ash of very depth to deep, wet soils overlain with peat. Although permafrost exists at higher elevations, it is not present in the lowlands. Two physiographic provinces cover the park. The Aleutian Range province is composed of the Shalikov Strait coastline, about 10 miles deep along the coast, the Aleutian Mountain Zone, and the Lake, or Hudsonian Zone. Farther west the Nushigak Bristol Bay Lowlands province is separated from the Aleutian Zone by the Bruin Bay Fault, occupying a small corner of the park. The active volcanoes in the park are Mount Katmai, Novarupta, Trident Volcano, Mount Magic, Mount Martin and Four Peaked Mountain. Other volcanoes that have erupted in recent times in geological terms, but not in historical times, are Mount Douglas, Mount Griggs, Snowy Mountain, 
Mount Denison, Mount Cookock, Devil's Desk, Mount Kagayak, Mount Cerberus, Falling Mountain and Mount Kajulik. Martin and Majik produced steam that can be seen from King Salmon, while Trident was active in 1957 to 1965 and 1968. Activities at Katmai include hiking, backpacking, camping, backcountry skiing, fishing, kayaking, boat tours, and interpretive programs. Katmai is also well known for Alaskan brown bears and the sockeye salmon that attract both bears and people. Katmai contains the world's largest protected brown bear population, estimated to number about 2,200. Bears are especially likely to congregate at the Brooks Falls viewing platform when the salmon are spawning, and many well-known photographs of Alaskan brown bears have been taken there. The salmon arrive early at Brooks Falls compared to other streams, and between 43 and 70 individual bears have been documented at the falls in July and an equal number of bears are seen in the lower river in September. The coastal areas such as Hello Bay, Cookock Bay, Kuliak Bay, Kauflia Bay, Geographic Harbor and Chiniak Bay also host very high population densities of bears year-round, due to the availability of clams and edible coastal sedge as well as salmon and other fish. Other hotspots include Swickshake Lagoon, American Creek, and in the preserve, Moraine Creek and Funnel Creek. The vast majority of Katmai visitors come to Brooks Camp, one of the only developed areas of the park, and few venture further than the bear viewing platforms in the adjacent Brooks Camp area. Rangers at the park are extremely careful not to allow bears to obtain human food or get into confrontations with humans. As a result, bears in Katmai Park are uniquely unafraid of and uninterested in humans, and will allow people to approach, and photograph, much more closely than bears elsewhere. The bears of Brooks Camp can be seen on computers and smartphones via webcams pioneered by the National Park Service. July and September are by far the best months for viewing brown bears in the Brooks Camp area. Lodging is available in the park at Brooks Camp and Grosvenor Lodge and at several other lodges scattered around the park on inholdings. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We will see on our next video and will explore new places of Peninsula Alaska, United States.